what Laszlo accomplished is indeed uh, uh, something very special uh, by uh, winning the Great American Piano Competition. Uh, he was the first of our faculty members to do so. We did have a second faculty member two years later who also won that same competition. And, 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 all, and so we are quite pleased to have done something that no other school in the, in the country has done, to have two of its faculty members to win that very prestigious competition. Uh, and uh, so it just goes to show that with good training, strong, uh, strong abilities, that, that uh, faculty from any place can, can indeed make the college be seen in the best light, I guess is the best way to put it. From the first time I heard Laszlo, I've, I've been very impressed by his playing. Uh, he, he has this mixture of influences, both his classical and jazz. Uh, he's one of the best musicians we've ever had here at Berkeley and uh, we're especially lucky that he stayed on as a teacher and uh, has uh, therefore been able to uh, pass his knowledge on to um, the students that have come after him and uh, we're very proud of him. The, the music is a very universal music and Laszlo is a great musician and the truth is that this music goes beyond any kind of uh, boundaries of cultures or nationalities and good musicians meet on a common ground. And uh, we played together very well the first time, and I always enjoy playing with Laszlo because he's a great musician, and that's all you need. Well, I first became aware of Laszlo after he had been in this country for a while uh, and started recording and made some recordings for the Antilles record label. Um, there's so many musicians who come to Boston to play jazz uh, to go study at Berkeley from all over the world that uh, the fact that someone from Europe or Africa or Asia is here and playing isn't really that exceptional. But then when you see a recording come out with musicians like Miroslav Vitas or Bob Moses or Dave Holland participating, you start to say to yourself, oh, this must be someone worth paying attention to because these are highly respected musicians who are, who are playing with them. So I think that's how I really first heard Laszlo, and at the time, he was performing in a variety of settings. He had a trio, and he also would do solo concerts, and would occasionally expand his trio by adding people like um, Dave Liebman or Mick Goodrick or Randy Brecker. So over time, I got to hear him in a variety of circumstances like that, and that's where I really began to appreciate his music, because I could hear that it had the possibility for growth and expansion within the music. It wasn't just one fixed idea that would sound the same way every time it was performed. And I, and I was very impressed with that as well as with his technique and just his imagination, which are very impressive. Well, you know, I think that uh, Laszlo Gardoni being as talkative as he is, is an excellent spokesman for jazz. I think that's one thing that Laszlo brings, is his visibility, his ability, his ability to talk about what he's doing, to talk about the jazz tradition, to talk about his personal path of study. I think that's excellent. Uh, a lot of players are not as outspoken. Uh, when, when we deal with radio, I think here, there are a lot of listeners out there who want to know about the player. They want to know, they can hear his music, but they want to know something about his other side. And I think Laszlo, being uh, such an eloquent spokesman about his past and, and about the jazz tradition, is wonderful. Now, then let's talk about his music. I think his music is just beautiful. And I think he has, uh, in, in the true tradition of jazz, he has been able to synthesize European elements and the African-American elements that make up jazz. That's beautiful. That's what we want. You know, a station like this reaches uh, an awful lot of people. In the course of a week, my program, which airs nightly here, uh, reaches about 80,000 people. We cover a wide range covering uh, most of the states here in the Northeast in the United States. We also maintain uh, a, a lot of phone contact with our listen listenership. Uh, phones ring here constantly. And I can remember getting a phone call one night 
about Laszlo Gardoni. We had been playing some of Laszlo's music, and this phone call comes in from a woman who is frantically screaming about having driven her car off the road while listening to such beautiful music from Laszlo Gardoni. So, uh, I, you know, Laszlo's music touches a whole lot of people, and I'm thankful with our 100,000 watts we can help them touch more. There are a number of reasons why I produce Laszlo Gardoni. One is that he's a very gifted musician, pianist. Um, and the music that he, he has in this forthcoming album, that when you listen to, the, to the, this new record, you'll hear it. Uh, a lot of fun in his music. And there's, sad, there's times when he can go from that to sad. And he portrays that very well. Uh, being involved with Laszlo is, a, number one, he's a good friend. And uh, I'll take any opportunity that I have to uh, be involved with somebody who, number one, I genuinely like uh, as a person. And two, that uh, his music and his, his uh, oh, I would say, uh, his technical skills are where Laszlo's is. Uh, I have a joy, because I always wanted to play piano, and I wish I could play piano like Laszlo. So I uh, take a joy in, in watching people like Laszlo sit down and, and portray their music and their inner self, you know, through their hands, and, 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 uh, and as it comes out in music, it's, it's very satisfying for me to see a, uh, and hear a gifted musician come out and do something this, this wonderful. And I just, and I just have a, a good time. And in producing people like Laszlo and other folks, there's not really that much involved when they're that good. There are, there's some suggestions you can make, and uh, there are uh, maybe a couple of hints here and there. But overall, they have the whole thing really well covered. And um, when, when, when you go to a session with, with uh, people like him, like Laszlo and so forth, uh, it's, it's a joy, man. I have a lot of fun doing it. And when that fun is transmitted through everybody, we come up with a nice record. And that's what we have done with this record that's eventually coming out on Avenue Records. Um, like I tell, every time I go to a session and I uh, get involved in producing it, there's three things I would like people to do. And one is just to relax, you know? Number two is play from your heart with a lot of emotion, how you feel. And number three is let's have fun. And we did. <laughs>